Uh, last trip, you said that uh, per se they might be might not be done with what's on the heap right now. Well, what they're what they're concerned with, and I, you know, they they were concerned that we weren't being we weren't optimizing the past. You know, I said uh, the crusher was crushing about a five five to four and a half minus, depending on the the, the rock. We don't know. We're speculating that it might not have been small enough. So um, we may have an option of recrushing the taking it down to size, uh, which would be determined by McClellan. So they've, you've sampled it then? They, McClellan has the samples and they're, and they're running that analysis now. Um, like I said, I believe we're still about a month or two out on that. Um, it, it, they're, they're doing a quite extensive uh, bulk samples with them. How long does it take to clean off the pad once you're done you know, with, the, with, the, uh, with the material the here? Uh, or is it done in, are the different cells from are they being processed at a different rate? Yeah, so every cell, because uh, obviously we're stacking, you know, say three here um, and one. One is technically leached out by by the chairman of the, uh, there's no more uh, gold coming off of it. It's been leached out. You only get leached as you add material to it. Um, one technically has no more return on it, so we won't put no more solution on it. Now, as far as reclamations, you have to go to rinse, which is basically putting water up on it and rinsing the cyanide out of it. And that can take uh, three to five years to do that. Uh, that's why you post up your reclamation bonds is that's what pays for that. Um, so you have to set up another you know, leach pad for that. Well, you'll, you'll use the same leach pad, but what we do is we, we are pumping fresh water instead of cyanide water up to there and it just leaches and, and pulls that cyanide out. Cyanide will break down under water and sunlight. So as you rinse that heap out, it's just like uh, taking it and, and running it under a, a faucet in a sense. But does that mean your leach pad is tied up? Tied up with? Tied up for that length of time? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Um, we don't uh, rinse them. It, it stays active mm -hmm. and indefinite as long as we're mining, um, if, if that's your question. We don't, we don't rinse it until we're done with the mining process, until the mine closes. Um, those, those heat pads are, are uh, ready to go at any time. We just move our drippers, restack on top, and start leaching. So cyanide is an acid. Uh, it, it uh, if I remember right, it would be um, on the different. It's not acidity. It's more like an. A, so you're a, saying a, it's a base. Lady, yeah. So it's the base. Yeah. But what you're seeing is is the the, the contour of the land that we've used, and it's basically as we put. Uh, well, you see sprinklers and drippers up there. That's what the applicates the, uh, the water and cyanide mix. Um, it mists it or drips it. We're using uh, drippers right now. Just it's more efficient on the coverage and consistency. Um, it just drips in, you know, uh, maybe a half a gallon a, a minute in, in within 18 to 24 inches, depending on how we do that. We, we lay, lay that whole that whole top over or fresh ore. So is that dirt all ore? Yeah, that, that's all ore there. This is all this mound of ore right here. That is correct. All the oh, way up I to where you see the black. I didn't realize it was that thick. Yeah, and, and the reason why you see a little more footprint down there is just the contour to try to, we're trying to level that pad out a little bit. Just is so is it being mined right now? Pardon? Are you, is it functioning right now? No, it is not. Uh, we, the only thing you'll see is, and not today, he hasn't turned it on, is you'll see uh, the misters going if, if you're to visit here periodically through the weeks and, and it'll pick up now that heat is, is we have to evaporate the fresh water and I'll show you guys all that when we go down there. Uh, right now it's all fresh water from the storms that we've had this last year. The, there's no cyanide in there so we're, we have to evaporate them so we can clean the ponds out until we evaporate it we can't use it um, the the cyanide what remnants our cyanide is in there will be uh, destroyed by the elements as far as when it goes to the air the the, the sunlight and and stuff uh, will be uh, dissolved I guess if you will um, and cyanide that won't pick up into the particles in the in the mist but it's so minute it wouldn't there's nothing in it. There's really nothing in there. Is that but, something environmentalists talk about? Um, I'm not familiar with if we've had any talk about that, but environmentalists, they don't like cyanide. Yeah. It's just, you know, I mean, that's that's just a natural thing, but the you're talking thousands of, of a percent per gallon of water, which is, you know, you wouldn't want to drink it because of the potential hazards, but <laughs> I, I really it's don't not think that it would bad. hurt you. So uh, that's a working solution? Pardon? That, that, it's that small amount of cyanide it is. for water? It's very, very little, little amount of cyanide per ton that you're, you're putting up there. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, it does not take much. Um, we have in the trenches there, you'll see the, what we call a header. There's a six inch line that, that uh, pressurizes all of our lines that go up there going up with about a two inch line. And we're, that feeds all drippers. Um, we'll just continue down through here, take you into the plant, and then I can get a little more into the process of, of how the cyanide works with the, the gold. One question on the mill, you said the higher grade stuff goes to the mill. Yes. Why is that? Well, uh, cyanide doesn't leach uh, free gold. It's, oh, okay. uh, it's got to be within a certain range, and I don't know the technicals on that, but I know there's a cutoff point, and, and Jim will predetermine that with the quality. Where's your cutoff? Where's your grade goes to heat leach? And that's where they optimize that for us is they say you can leach it effectively with your circuit at this grade. Oh, okay. And at everything above that, you need to, to, so to float it off or uh, gravity separate it. Okay. So the higher the grade, the it would take too much cyanide to break down the, the gold. It would take too long. I mean, it, would, it, could, it could take a long, excuse me, a long time to do that. Now, at a certain grade, can you actually start staining the gold? Absolutely. Which uh, grade? Um, I don't know our ore specifically. Um, you know, you could probably start picking up gold, uh, gold plate. Oh, you'll see the plate. Uh, it, say, like a pan, if you were to crush it for a pan, you could probably anywhere from a, a point 0.1 to a quarter ounce. A quarter ounce, you're probably going to start seeing something. Oh, okay. An ounce to a ton, if you have the right amount or, or section, you're going to definitely see something. But that'd be milled product. Right, you have to you have to pulverize it down. That's a lot of pain. A lot of work. <laughs> I, I've out. done several things on different different projects of my own and stuff where you know you just using the you make your own um, mortar pestle. Mortar pestle. Just kind of break it down, throw it in a pan, and and, and, you, and you got your color right there. The oh, pocket. like a field sample. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, gosh. I don't know what the volume is on for. Uh, well, the, the truck we had used in the past was 50 tons. Did you do any panning? Um, I like, believe, not we, I'm stuff, speculating on the Yeah, we played up in the mud. Oh, we played up in the mother load and stuff. Uh -oh. it's just, it just makes more economic, especially at decent We prefer prices. to go for the...